Hey there, my loves. Today is a good one because I am going to talk to you about how much money you can really truly make from your email list. Hmm? Everyone is always talking about the importance of having one or even how to build one, but no one really reveals how much true money, dollars and cents, you can make from having that email list and what the value of your email list really truly is. Well, I'm not like any of those other guys. So keep watching because I'm going to show you with my own numbers exactly what the true financial potential of your email list can really be. So let's get to work. C -P -C -P -P. First, let's talk about how your email list is actually worth real true money. And then I'm actually going to take you deep into my numbers and what my last quarter email list value really turned out to be so that I can explain to you exactly how you can determine what you should offer and how many people on your list can take you to that next level financially. But in order to understand how your email list can really translate into true dollars, you have to have two things in place. First, you have to have the right email system. The one that actually gives you the details and tracks the analytics and the clicks tied to your offers that are inside of those emails. Now, in a couple weeks ago, maybe even last week, I talked to you guys about my favorite email marketing systems. I'm going to go ahead and link to that video right here because knowing the details of that email marketing system and choosing the right email marketing system is really going to impact your ability to understand the true money value and potential of your email list. But once you have that email system in place, one that's actually tracking your clicks, tracking what your sales are and your offer amounts are, in addition to tracking how many people are on your list, you will really truly get a bird's eye view of exactly how much value you can place on your email list and translate that into real dollars and cents. The second thing that you need is that you have to make sales offers through email to your email list. That is absolutely critical. In the beginning of your entrepreneurial journey, and I know in mine, my email list was more used as a nurturing mechanism, as an opportunity for me to develop a relationship with the folks who were opting in, as I've explained to you before, onto my list so that I could continue to provide them with real true value and give them additional resources and tools. Well, as my business continued to grow and I began to create real true sales offers, I began to actually make those sales offers through email to my email list. And those sales offers come in the form of an email sales a sales email sequence or a sales funnel when you are offering a true product or service via email in that email you'll have a click or a link that folks can click on that will take you to ultimately a sales page and then that sales page will then take them to a checkout page where they can make that purchase and then ultimately take them to a thank you page which will begin your onboarding process well if you're not at a point yet in your business where you're actually making sales offers through email then you're not really going to be able to track how much money your email list can be worth because your system will actually track your total volume of sales based upon those email sales offers that are made and then the total number of people who were on your list to give you a really good idea of what the potential value is for every single lead that's on your list but if you're not making sales offers you won't be making any sales which means you won't be generating any revenue which means your email system can't track the real true dollars and cents but once you have those two things in place, a good email system that tracks it and the ability to actually make sales offers via email, you are going to be well on your way to being able to figure out how much money is in those email leads of yours. Now, once you have those two things in place, you will be able to monitor how many of the leads on your list will actually make purchases from what you've actually emailed them. It's absolutely critical that you monitor those, that information and that you look at those analytics and that data. Based upon those sales totals and the total number of leads that you have, your system should be able to calculate for you how much each of your leads is 
valued at. And that, my love, is where it gets really good. So let me give you a couple of examples by giving you and sharing with you exactly what my numbers look like. And then I'm going to give you a specific example that if you were to implement some of these things and if your numbers didn't look like this and they look like something else, what you could ultimately expect. Now, these numbers directly from my system are based on the last six months of effort. And I have to say that in the last six months, I've actually only made two offers to my email list, which I would say is below where I would want them to be and below where ultimately they should be. You really should be looking at having enough of a product and service offering and enough sales techniques and marketing techniques that you're making an offer consistently to your leads list every once a month or you know every couple of weeks or so. But the last six months of my life has been, as you know, extremely difficult and just crazy. So I got away from actually making sales offers to my list, but I am in the midst of putting together some real fabulous ones. So I know that these numbers are going to change. So I'm going to share with you my numbers over the last six months and then also my numbers lifetime, what my leads are valued at in my entire system since I've been using the system and actually making sales offers through email. All right, so based upon my sales volume of those two offers that I've mentioned, and the size of my list, right now, that time frame, each of the leads on my list is valued at right around $20. Here's how the math works out. I have a total sales volume of roughly $120,000 in that time frame. My list size during that time frame was around $6,000. That means that $120,000 in sales volume divided by my $6,000 lead equals roughly $20 in value per lead right? Pretty easy. Now, if I took my year to total numbers, my lead value actually goes up to nearly $40 per lead. So it doubles. And that's directly related to how many offers I've offered, as well as what the pricing is for those offers. Now, during that time frame, I did make additional offers through, for the whole lifetime and the whole year. So, and most of those offers were related to my high ticket coaching and consulting services. So with that being said, that explains why the actual value per lead doubled because the pricing in a lot of those particular offers, since they were heavy, prior to my last six months hiatus, that is why that lead value will definitely go up. Now, <clears throat> with those numbers being what they are, if I increase my list to 10,000 leads and focused on the exact same amount of offers, the exact same number of offers with the exact same amounts of the sales and the cost, my list would actually be valued at $400,000. That's 10,000 leads times $40 value per lead. I know, right? It's crazy. Even more exciting is if I increase my list to 10,000 and I increase my offers and my sales from those offers to average $50 per lead, then I'd be looking at a $500,000 value for my email list. That's $50 times 10,000 potential leads. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that every single lead is going to make a purchase, but what it does do is out of the percentage of those leads that did make a purchase, that is my total sales volume. And because I have a total um, value of 10,000 people on the list, they're gonna take that total sales volume and they're gonna divide that by the total, which will give you your per lead average. Now, I think of it this way. It doesn't mean that every single person on your list has to make a $50 purchase in order for your list to be valued at $500,000. What it does mean is if I focus my efforts and energy on increasing my conversion rates, meaning converting more of those leads into sales and making sure that I'm making more consistent sales offers and that the pricing of those consistent sales offers is right where it needs to be, that even if only 5% or 3% of my list actually purchases, I'm still going to see that same sales volume. Because again, the value per lead is just giving me an idea of if I grow my my leads and I grow my offers, what potential value and money can be brought in. So let me break this down on what this could look like for you if you don't have large high ticket offers or if you've got a really small list that you're just starting out building. So let's say your list has a thousand people on it and you send an email offer selling something for a hundred bucks and 50 people buy from that offer. 
Then you have sold $5,000 and your leads will be valued at $5 each, right? Because you've sold $5,000 and you've got 1,000 leads total on your list, even though 50 people only bought. Then you have sold $5,000 and your leads will be valued at $5. So as you get that list to 2,000 leads, you can pretty much determine just based off of the numbers that your list can now generate $10,000 in sales with a similarly priced offer. You see how that math is working? If you increase your leads to 2,000, it's just a numbers game, right? So the 2,000 leads just gives you a higher number of sales. If you had 1,000 people on your leads list, and you sold 50 of them, that's roughly a 5% conversion rate. Well, if you've got $2,000 on your leads list with that same 5% conversion rate, you're gonna sell 100 because it's all about the numbers. And remember that offer at $100, 100 times 100, is $10,000. And if you just keep offering $100 products and you keep growing your list, you can see how that number can grow exponentially, right? So growing from 1,000 to 2,000, you get 10,000. If you go from 2,000 to 3,000 with that same 5% conversion rate, that means that 150 people are going to buy your service or your product for $100. Now you've generated $15,000 in sales and revenue. And that's just with three thousand people on your list you my love can of course do the math when you get that three thousand person list to thirty thousand you're going to take that fifteen thousand and you're going to 10 exit the exact same way to a hundred and fifty thousand dollar sales day and again if you are using an automated email an automated email funnel or a sequence or a sales funnel you aren't necessarily out there pounding the pavement beating the streets and trying to persuade people to buy things your email is selling those things so you can send out an email sequence over the course of seven days and again with those same numbers that we were just talking about in seven days you could be looking at a fifth $15,000 payday. That's right. Your email list, my love, is the easiest way to sell. Now, I want to make sure that you understand increasing your leads list and increasing your offer, the cost of your offer, can really get things looking real sexy on the money inbound. And it can keep growing and get even sexier as you continue to develop your products and services, analyze your financials, increase your pricing, and continue just to sell to that email list. This is not talking about selling outside. This isn't talking about getting Facebook ads where people are going directly from social media into buying from you. This is just on your list. And remember, it doesn't really happen this way if you don't have a list of real, true, warm, ideal customers that you have been nurturing. So if your list is full of just randos that aren't necessarily interested in what you're doing or what you're providing, then you may not see these same conversion rates in these same numbers. But if you have followed the steps that I have provided in so many other videos, especially this one about the best sales, I mean, the best marketing and sales process, for startup entrepreneurs. I'm going to go ahead and link to it so you can take a look. That marketing funnel will be the funnel that will generate for you the right ICA, the right customer, the right person that you can get onto your list, that you can nurture over the course of time and weeks, providing them with additional value and additional revenue and additional resources and additional tools. And then when you are finally ready to make that offer, they're going to be warm or hot leads and they're more likely to buy because they've already shown you that they are interested in what you are ultimately providing. So now do you understand what I am saying when I say if you have the right size email list, you can just print money? Hmm. Do you get it? Yes. Your email list has real, true dollars and cents value. It is not just a list of people's names with emails. It is dollars into your business if you do this thing the right way. Do not take for granted the work that you are doing if you have implemented the other steps that I have taught and you are really, truly serious about building that email list, providing that valuable content, giving them ultimate freebies, allowing them to give you your email so that you can give them something of value for free and getting them onto your email list so you can nurture them. It is a true method to that madness. There is a real true science behind it. So you're not just trying to gather email addresses and people's names. When you think about it from this perspective and you understand that every single name that you add to your list could be worth 50 bucks, 
Girl, that changes the game from a mental perspective, from a mindset perspective, and from a drive perspective. Me knowing that the average lead on my list as of 2022 is going to be worth $40 per lead, hell yeah. I'm going to try to make sure I get thousands and thousands and thousands of more leads added to that list. And hell yeah, I'm going to continue to make that content that will drive those leads onto that list. And hell yeah, I'm going to make sure that that content is consistent and that it is targeting the right audience. Because for me, every single name and every single email that gets added to that list is another potential $40 in the bank. And that applies to you too. So I hope that you enjoyed this. This was a shorty, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to provide you with the details because I got so many questions from people saying, CP, what's the real true monetary value of an email list? And this, my love, is the answer that you have been looking for. So if you like this video, please make sure that you smash that like button. It helps me out in the algorithm and that you share this valuable information and content. And if I haven't secured your buy-in into building an email list over the last few weeks of providing you with specific content around email marketing, this video should do it, boo. Yes, you heard what I said, $40 per email that you get. That's the value. So hell yeah. Break it down, get to a thousand, get to 5,000, get to 10,000, do your thing. Because every single zero that you add to the end is adding another zero to your bank account. Until next time, my loves, thank you so much. I will see you next Tuesday and stay safe. Bye-bye.